Okay, in this video, we're going to be going over a bone reduction and a two supported pin guide. So you can see here we have our model that has the extracted teeth. And since there's enough, there's not enough teeth to get a good um, stable pin guide that's tooth supported, we went ahead and opted for a um, bone supported pin guide. So here you see the bone reduction, which has magnets. Uh, allowing the interlocking of the pin guide and the bone reduction guide. The bone reduction guide has the actual metal sleeves in there for the stabilizing pins. And here is our model that's been segmented from the CBCT scan. We do have that pin guide that is not going to be interfering with the incisive canal. And it's going to index only on in the buccal facial aspect of the model. We're going to be simulating the pins being drilled and then of course of course, the pins being inserted into the bone there. Um, now at this stage the pin guide does have locking pins that we could use to lock the pin, the pin guide to the bone reduction guide. And here you see a nice intimate fit. We have windows cut out of the pin guide to ensure that uh, all of the seating and all the surfaces are flush with the pin guide and bone reduction guide. Once the pin guide is uh, used, we can go ahead and remove it uh, just by pulling it off. Or if you have the interlocking pins in place, you would remove this first. And there, your bone is exposed to the level that we need to produce. Again, you only have to retract on the buccal facial side uh, of the tissue. And here we're going to simulate that the bone has been reduced. And we're going to put these stabilizing pins uh, back on this next model. Now, during surgery, the doctor would not have to switch the models. Obviously, once the pins are in, they stay in. Um, if you have a pin going through a root, we recommend removing that pin and extracting that tooth of that root. It's very rare that we have to use a pin by the root, but it just depends where the pins are, are positioned in, the case, in relation to the, to the implants. And here we have the guide pins going into the osteotomy guide. Uh, we have two guide pins that get inserted to lock the guide in place with the bone reduction guide in place as well. And this allows a nice intimate fit and it locks in place for stability purposes. Uh, the doctor would perform the osteotomy uh, at this time, the drill, drill sequence for the surgery kit. And that's it for this video.